Soil nutrient needs vary according to soil type, depth of soil, and types of plants that have different nutrient requirements. The goal of soil testing for water quality protection is to learn how much fertilizer your lawn needs so you don't apply excess nutrients that run off into local waterways. Excess nutrients in our waterways result in excessive algae growth and reduced oxygen levels, which negatively affect fish and aquatic insects. Using too much fertilizer is a waste of your money and leads to higher cost of surface water treatment. You will need a shovel or hand trowel, a clean bucket, a sample submissions form, and a soil test sample box. Soil test boxes and submission sheets are available in every Alabama Extension County office. A composite sample is a collection of 15 to 20 uniform cores or scoops of soil from a garden or lawn. Divide your lawn or garden into different sampling areas based on the types of plants growing there. Take samples in a zigzag pattern across the area. The appropriate depth of a soil sample depends on the land use. For tilled areas, sample to the depth of the tillage, typically 6 to 8 inches deep. For areas that are not tilled, such as established lawns and turf, sample 2 to 3 inches deep. Place the samples from a given area into the clean bucket. Mix the soil well and place about one pint of the mixture into a soil sample box. Fill in the information on the soil sample box and information sheet as completely as possible. Indicate which plants are to be grown so accurate fertilizer recommendations can be made. Here are a few tips. For a lawn, list the specific type of grass to be fertilized. For vegetable gardens with several crops, you can simply write vegetable garden on the soil sample submission form. In this case, a general fertilizer recommendation will be made that is adequate for most vegetable gardens. If you have an organic vegetable garden and would like a recommendation that does not include chemical fertilizers, please specify organic vegetable garden. For home orchards with several types of fruit crops, you can write home orchard on the sample submission form to receive a general fertilizer recommendation for common fruit crops grown in Alabama. Look for crop-specific recommendations in the comments section of your soil test report. For shrubs or perennial flowers, simply write shrubs or perennial flowers on the sample submission form. This includes most evergreen, deciduous shrubs, small trees, flowering shrubs, and perennial flowers. Look for different plant-specific requirements in the comments section, since some shrubs have different lime requirements. Soil and plant samples for nematode analysis and disease and insect diagnosis must be mailed separately. Contact your county extension office for information on submitting these samples. Put your filled soil boxes, the information sheet, and a check or money order to cover service charges in a cardboard shipping box and send to the Soil Testing Laboratory at Auburn University. Samples can also be paid for with a credit card or by calling 334-844-3958. Remember that soil testing gives you the information you need to grow healthy plants, save money, and protect our waterways and environment. To be most effective, fertilize plants with nitrogen only while they are growing and not when they are dormant. Do not put out fertilizer right before a heavy rain. Sweep up any excess fertilizer from driveways and sidewalks to reduce the amount washed into storm drains and waterways. Always follow the label directions and remember, more is not better.